back to school season and I have a tip for you to have a pain-free experience. So keep on watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Playpy, and I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Today, I wanna to share with you a little bit about backpack safety, a little bit of backpack awareness, guys. So if you didn't know, there's actually a National Backpack Awareness Day. It's typically celebrated in September, but this year, the American Occupational Therapy Association is celebrating it in October, October 27th to be exact, because that is World OT Day and they want to make this a global campaign. I'm sharing this with you now so that you can get the benefits as soon as possible. So why is this important? Well, every year kids are carrying around school bags and they're not using ergonomic safety and it is causing them back pain. And this is not something that we want them to experience, right? Who wants back pain at that young of an age? I get enough of it now. So here are some tips for you that I want you to consider. There are three important things that you wanna consider when it comes to backpacks. So first is how you pack it. You wanna make sure that it is not going to weigh more than 10% of your child's total weight. And you also want to be considerate of how you pack the items. You want to put heavier things towards the back, midway things in the middle, and lighter things towards the front. You also want to make sure that you're not putting any sharp objects towards the back. So keep those in mind and make sure you're distributing items throughout the backpack if you have extra compartments. One of the things I notice is that in the beginning of the school year, things may seem okay, but you also notice after a few weeks that your child may be gaining a lot more papers in their bag, right? Maybe they're collecting things and not getting rid of some papers. So you wanna also make sure that you're cleaning through the bag regularly to keep them really organized and you can stay on top of things. Another thing you wanna think about is how you're putting it on. When you're picking it up, you're going to pick it up and you're going to bend with your knees. You are not gonna bend at the waist because you wanna think about that back safety. Last thing you wanna think about is how you adjust and carry the bag. You want to use both straps and you wanna make sure that you are having, having the bag at the top as high as possible on your back and also making sure that it is one to two inches above your hips. If your bag has adjustable straps for the chest and the waist that are horizontal, you wanna use those as well because those are going to distribute the weight evenly across the body. So your backpack should not be dragging down behind you. It should not be sagging. So those are the three things to consider. Now you also want to remember that there may be some warning signs that your child is having a backpack issue. Some of those may just be something obvious, like they're having difficulty picking it up. You may also see red, red strap marks on their body or you may see that their posture is being affected by it. You also wanna pay attention to if they are telling you some things, are they letting you know that they're in pain? Do they look like they're in pain by their facial expressions? And also if they're experiencing any tingling in their arms or in their hands. So keep those things in mind. Those are really important warning signs that you have to adjust something with your backpack. So again, you want to pack it, you want to put it on, and you want to adjust and carry. Those are the three steps you want to consider related to your backpack. Now, the American Occupational Therapy Association was nice enough to create a little bit of an educational PDF for you. I have included this link in this video description so that you can have it as a helpful tool for you. So I hope you find these tips helpful and really useful for you and your family. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. And also make sure you check out that description box so that you can have some useful links that are also shared from the AOTA. Thanks for listening. I hope to see you soon and have a playful day.